That's some serious artwork. Wow. Look at all this. That's beautiful. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Oh, G Man is out. I'm going to try to get this metal out of here. Some exhaust pieces. few exhaust pieces cool wait a minute this was never part of an exhaust yeah that's clean whoa that's a whack and smack Whew. that was close <clears throat> that's a triple whack and smack uh, 5,000? Whack and smack. 5,000. Plastic. Alright, we're good to go. A Schwinn. Get in my truck. I think they're late for work. Driving kind of quick. That's just missing a, a seat. And some missing a seat and some adjustments. I think we might have a a bike that would be good for donation. No, you probably do. Hey, it's a mayfly. What's up, dude? You can't go to the scrapyard. No. No. You can't go. He's on me now. What's up, dude? <laughs> Did you know that two basketballs can go through this hoop at one time? That the diameter of a basketball is exactly half? parallel parking for scrap oh you guys are awesome thank you actually this house that tree fell over and landed on this roof um, about six months ago yeah you can see where it uprooted yeah it was laying on this house for a few days I remember. What is that? Is that like an electric motor? <clears throat> is that an electric motor that you can put your uh, clothes out on the clothesline and it'll take him out to the backyard then bring them in for you that'd be cool I guess it would it'd take electricity which would kind of be the opposite of the of the whole point this guy just asked me if I want a couple bikes as a matter of fact I do You want me to come up and help? Yeah, you one, I'll just okay. Just thought I'd ask. Sometimes I'd probably feel uncomfortable if uh, I just came back here. You don't want him anymore, huh? Uh, nah. 
You got a tricycle. That's yeah, pretty that's cool. That, that's not going. Okay, I don't blame you. All right. We've been sitting out here for the longest time. It's time to go, huh? Yeah. Yeah. At first, I wanted to fix some, but then uh, nobody else, nobody wanted them, so I said, uh, I "Okay." I'll just sit there then, so I get ready to take them. But I haven't took them, so. You used to live right there in the corner, didn't you? I did, yeah. Or are you still there? No, no. Uh, oh. um, the ex-wife turned that into an Airbnb. So they... Uh... Oh, really? Whoa, hi, puppy. What's up, puppers? <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. No problem. Yeah, I used to live right over there. Yep. Yeah. I, see, I uh, used to see your, your truck there. Yeah. So. yeah. I had a blue truck for a while. Now I got this one. Uh -huh. Yeah, I live over downtown now. Oh, that's how you sign. Well, when you, you live there, you yeah. sign, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. All right, well, it was good seeing you. Bye, puppy. Yeah, Binks. Bye, Binks. Get off the road. Get over there. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm going to take this straight over to the bike guy. So I'm getting ready to go over to the bike couple. Uh, they they repair bikes and give them out for free. This one, this crosswind, will be repairable. This hyper, I don't think so. But that Schwinn, yes. Because, I mean, this one's just, it's just so rusted up. It's, I mean, just, yeah. It's, it's just been weathered for so long. Yep. Yeah, this chain isn't even, it doesn't even move. All right, that's one bike. Yeah, this one's so toast. There's nothing. This is turning back into soil. But this guy, that's a different story. Yeah, this has plenty of miles left on it. Just needs a seat. This thing opening up on me. What's up, Mr. Paul? How you been? Dude, man, you were all tanned up, man. Okay. Just go back from Hawaii? No, just back, got back from the lovely Illinois. Nah. Nope. Yeah. It's foggy today though, man. Yeah, visibility yeah. was zero on your way out the decal from Elmer. Yeah, man, it was it was nuts. So I actually I started a little bit late just because it was so foggy. So Yeah. Cool man. We didn't miss anything. Uh okay, that's good. I, I grabbed I got a couple of bicycles, a couple of things, so good. It's good, how you been? Fat and lonely. Uh okay. <laughs> I'm just fat. What's up, electric bike dude? He's getting a little bit of exercise too. That's the cool thing about electric bikes is that you can pedal them too. You can pedal, get your exercise. You can sit and chill. And I, I don't ride them in the road as, as much as some others. Yeah, I'm more of a bike path and bike lane kind of a electric bike person. Looks interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a peek. Just in case there's someone that wants a tube TV, I'm not going to clip that cord. Beads. Man, that's a lot of beads and stuff. 
cheddar chips. Probably personal files. An Edison bulb. That looks like some cord clippers were here already. Wow, old printer paper. The dot matrix printer paper. Y'all remember that? I bet this is valuable to an artist. There's a cord in there. I can see it. Hey, nope, that's coaxial cable. Yeah, that's um actually that could be copper in there. A lot of times it's magnetic. So it's just a copper coated steel. That's kind of old school, isn't it? Hmm. Those chairs are. Oh, they're broken. Broken or redone or something. I think they are changing their motif. That's some serious artwork. Wow. Look at all this. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. This is n not so much. I don't think I like that. No. That's very... Uh, Picasso? Kind of a... You know, abstracty. That's okay. No. No. This is a big time yes. Both of these. All right. Yeah, I like. Oh, that's glass in there. Those are heavy. Those are big time heavy. All right, these are going with me. Sorry I'm in the way. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Yeah, I like these a lot. I have some places for them too. This is going to work out really well. That's one thing about... Uh, wait a minute. This one goes sideways and this one goes up and down. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Did not know that Overwise delivered. Really? That's like the best ice cream ever. Little bit old mel. Yeah, this is also turning into soil. Ah, huh, even have some wood for us. Could use that. Is that proper English? Who? Yeah. I don't want a bunch of that stuff in my truck. So I'm gonna forego that. Yeah. I mean, I would like to take it, but I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. Not today. 
That's a nice pot. Seriously. Thought I would take a moment for some tranquility. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. So at first I was thinking it might be the workers that are here, but I don't think so. I think that is scrap because there's a garbage can right there. I better get out of the road here. All right. So yeah, two weed whackers, couple of old buys. What is it? That's a cool looking chest. What is that? Candle holder? Stay. I'm curious about this. That's kind of cool. Seriously. That is kind of cool. Am I going to take it? No. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Hey, good morning. Wow, look at this old school craftsman. Seriously. That's big time old school. Doesn't look like it, but it, this is uphill. <laughs> it's like that side of the street is lower. It's like. <laughs> this, this is going to make it awkward. missing a wheel. I think she's on the phone. Huh. Kind of grabbed me a little bit. Wee. <sighs> Driving. I'm watching my arm welt up from when I threw that bicycle. <sighs> yeah, it kind of grabbed me. I probably put my hand on it like it's um like it's like I'm stopping the like it's a cut, you know how you put pressure on a cut. Ooh, that's what I'm looking for right there. Thank you very much. I'm blocking driveways. I better hurry up. I actually thought I'd been going in the right direction. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to turn around. Now I'm blocking the mailboxes. Come on, block. I'm hearing something over here. Maybe I'm just tripping, man. Hmm. 
All right. I guess I'll take the water bottle. I don't want the water though. Wait a minute. I didn't actually drop the tailgate. So someone already took the goodies. This thing's heavy. All right, I think I'm struggling here. Wow. I'm getting frustrated. It's like it's, it's stuck. Wow. What was catching was that. All right, now I know where all the goodies are. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I can't believe how heavy this is. Yeah, this is that, what did you guys call this? The, it's when they put the pebbles down on top of the tar in this neighborhood. This thing's ridiculously heavy. Which is good for scrap. Wait a minute. Is there extra stuff in there? I'm feeling weak. Don't you dare fall. Don't you dare. That's gonna catch you. All right. gonna hit me isn't it This drawer. Hmm. Ah, there's someone in that garage that's has music going or something. I think we're good. Yeah, I don't want that bicycle to fall out.
Yeah, that should keep it from bouncing around. And they're rocking out over there in that garage. That's good. I like cranking the tunes. My girlfriend doesn't like that so much. I like music loud. Her, not so much. That was cool. The homeowner just grabbed me and said, hey, is this scrappable? And it was an item that was mostly made of tile and things. So I just told her, I said, take it to the curb and either the garbage man will take it or um, a scrapper could take it, separating the tile from the metal. Hello, I saw the metal. Yep, and there's a couple, there's a partial ramp here too. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. I figured someone would be coming around today or tomorrow. Are you going to have a, a yard sale or anything? Oh, we had the yard sale last year. Now it's just been free stuff that I've been setting out to get rid of. Really? Yeah. That is beyond cool. That is supportive <laughs> for the neighborhood. And... My dad passed away and the Aww. family went through everything that they wanted. Right. So I'm like... You know, we tried to sell half this crap last year and it yeah. didn't sell. I'm not even going to bother. So all yeah. the goods and clothes, I took over to Open Closet and Decal because it's free awesome. for the community. Wonderful. And the rest of the knick-knacky type stuff, I just set out and the okay. community's been having a field day. Yeah, and, and they will take it. So <laughs> sorry to hear about your dad passing. Thank you. Yeah. Do you take um, old, like, uh, mechanical oils and sprays? And no, I don't. Yeah, just metal. Right. Mainly metal. Gotcha. Yeah, thank you. Just yep. I'd check. Thank yep. you. Huh. Deja vu from the other day. It's a it's a flat earth dish. Flat earth TV. Flag down left and right. I like it. Not at the mailbox. You know what? I'm parked in the driveway. I hear a rubus. I just don't see one. Excellent. Thank you. Wow, I got an old singer, huh? Yeah. You want it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I got I have an idea for it. <clears throat> I used the, the, the base, of it, yeah. I made a bench out of it, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of people do because it says singer on the bottom with the little foot yeah. pedal. Yeah. yeah, they're nice. It was my grandma's and I have my other grandma's in the house. This was your grandmother's? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's why I know it's over hundred years old. Okay. Yeah. Book, yeah, you know firsthand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, dad's clothes with it, you know? What? More than likely, back in the huh? day. I don't know if you want the box. But I'll take the box, yeah. It just... Isn't yeah. All right, thanks for flagging me down. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you I... went by. Yeah. That's why I got my pizza. Once in a while. That's why I got the pizza sign up here, so yeah. people know what I'm up to. Dishwasher. If they're mostly metal, I can take them, but a lot of them are mostly plastic. Ours is stainless on the inside, and hmm. it's like KitchenAid. Okay. Um, we haven't taken it out yet, but... Yeah, yeah. If you if you bring it, it to the curb, uh, I or one of the other scrappers will definitely grab it if it's metal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, you can't park there. Didn't get the camera turned on in time, but this guy in this uh, this old... Mustang pulled up he says I have some aluminum for you I'm like all right I gotta pull off the street though because it's kind of a busy street thanks for flagging me down Then I saw your sign when I came down. It said scrap. Then I saw you come up the street. I see your Vietnam era veteran hat. Yeah. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. I replaced my windows one at a time. I got them 
all the cracks and everything are ruining them. Okay. The old ones I took out. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Look at this. Hmm. All right, if I put it back here, hopefully I won't forget it. See you around. Are they getting rid of this metal? What? Batteries, yeah, it's at the curb. Wow, this is a nice stop, bro. No way, it's a car fender, car hood. That is sweet. All right. <laughs> Get it loaded up. These are actually kind of heavy and sharp. Hmm. Oh, that's probably not the best spot for it. What is the best spot for that? Hmm. How do you think this through? All right, aluminum is going to go up front. batteries hmm. there's a steel spring in here some might cause breakage whoa what did I hit satellite dish needs to get go up and over stay hi Rufus <laughs> Do where that rope is. Yeah, I do. Hmm. Oh, rope's got some damage to it. Both of these ropes I got from the trash. I think the first one I got in my first year of scrapping. Then the second one was probably two years ago. So I think it's about time, just playing the numbers game, for me to get another rope in the trash. A little scrap music. Wee! I think the hood. Can go right here. It might. Oh, yeah. 
That's a Ford Ranger. I like them trucks. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's starting to ramp up right there. I have an idea. That's not gonna work, dude. Yeah, that hood does not work right there. Maybe if I spin it around like 180 degrees. Look at all those new scratches. That's all for me. scrap This does look bad. There's metal wheels, but hey. He even welded his initials right there. This is turning into a pretty decent scrap load. Oh. <laughs> All this dirt falling on me. Hello. Oh. Thank you for putting your metal out. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. There probably is going to 
gonna be more. Oh yeah? Coming okay. Like All right. And so okay. Thank you. I'll keep it. I'll keep an ear out and an eye out. All right. Thanks. <sighs> yeah. Let's go around this part a little bit more. So this is coming off at the house. If I can get on it. Holding it in. Yeah, this thing isn't bad. graceful today wait a minute is the whole bottom one out of it no cool this thing has a lid and a little front gate to it yeah there's nothing wrong with that you like it This aluminum is singing. Hey, that scrappy scrapper. What is that? Is that a piece of aluminum just sitting there? It certainly is. But it's not mine. All right, I'm going to guess 7,200 pounds. Let's see if my guess is right. Seven thousand three hundred pounds. Sweet. Yeah, so I'm gonna guess this is probably forty bucks because I did some me scrapping yesterday, and it was six cents a pound. And yesterday I had I got I made thirty six bucks with um, I think five hundred pounds was it? I can't remember exactly, but I, I know it's thirty six dollars. So. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't a lot. I'm gonna go right in between that air conditioning piece of equipment and this one. Right there. See you later, scrappy scrapper. <laughs> That's a, Scrapyard broom. Yeah, I definitely got a late start today, and I went. Um, I went through the neighborhood that had that is garbage morning, and then which I only got like half this. Yeah, it, that was at my house. The the kids didn't want it anymore, so I grabbed it. I also took off a couple pieces of aluminum when I was at my house, as well as that fire pit. But, what was I saying? I can't remember now. Seriously, it was like a, I had a point to what I was saying. Attention deficit at its finest. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna de-rope this scrap and then, uh, yeah. Hey, there's a couple of cars.
last treasure from the winter now thank god we got better woke up loading all the scrap from my backyard load the truck up now i'm headed to the scrapyard you too man never thought i'd get that far don't forget the scrap and pepper man is a rock star Get off my truck. Hmm. I see. The seat's holding it. <laughs> the struggle is real. Now. that whack and smack 5,000. Want to do a little damage. This for my fire, for my other fire pit. Paid. Oh, another piece. Hey, a bug. I'm gonna get 600 pounds. Hopefully, 600. Hi. Good. I'm Paul Red Truck. Should be close to 600. Yeah. Hoping it's 600. Okay. That's close. Wonderful. Thank you. you go. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. What is this? That's a dumpster of goodness. Speaking of goodness, thank you, God. Thank you for, for being you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for productivity. Thank you for a, a good attitude. Yeah, because God, I've been kind of struggling. You know that. And I'm glad that you are there for me. You put others in my path. 
and in my life. Thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, God. Ooh, is that a big tax? Come on. All right, so what do we got going on here? 42 bucks. Yeah. So $110, so it's five and a half cents a pound. 780 pounds. Okay, I thought she said five something. No, she said 65.20. That's what she said. Okay, so yes, yeah, 780 pounds. That was heavy. That's good. So five and a half cents a pound. Yeah, 42 bucks. I was I was expecting $40. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. You are awesome. Thank you for all the cards and letters and well wishes and condolences. Oh, you tired? Come on, let's go out and go potty. No? Yes? Hello? Would you like to go out and go potty, Miss Olivia? Yes? You wanna drive? Hmm? You want all my money? No? You just want a hug? You just want a hug? Okay. You're an awesome puppy.